Okay, so this is one of the things that I've been meaning to do for months. This, guys, is my first mechanical keyboard which I bought two years ago, the Scorpion Marvel KG901. The reason why I bought this thing was because I had to do copy pasting for like a few thousand times, so I needed a keyboard that can do macros. The whole thing was like 80 ringgit because I didn't want to spend so much on keyboards. Like, yeah, I didn't want to spend so much on keyboards. The Marvel KG901 is a wired blue switch clicky keyboard with static RGB LEDs and is able to save a few layouts with macros in its onboard memory. I think out of all the keyboards I've had, the software to make and save macros on this keyboard was the least painful and confusing compared to the others, even though it is painful and confusing. So anyway, being the person who doesn't like cables but still can't do cable management well, um, I've been longing to make this keyboard into a detachable keyboard. So this is a keyboard. I'm gonna take this wire, make it detachable using this USB-C breakout board which I bought like a year ago. So first of all, remove all the keycaps, unscrew the whole thing, open it, and remove the cable head from the board. Remove the cable from the case, and then put the cable head back so you get an idea of which wire goes to which connector. Cut the cable so it's just nice to connect to the breakout board. Strip the cable. Tin the wires so it's easier to solder them onto the board. And then solder the wires to the breakout board. Trim off any protruding wires so it's easier to lay the breakout board flat on the keyboard's case. Connect the keyboard to see if the thing works. No, funny story, my whole apartment block had a blackout after disconnecting the board, so be careful with your soldering. Wait for the electricity to come back, then drill two holes into the case to place the breakout board. Screw and nut the breakout board and see if the USB cable can be connected to the connector. So for this case, it looks like a no. Uh, so I had to do some cutting onto the case so that the cable can go in. Now test again and see if it works, then reassemble the whole thing. Do one last check, and that's it. That's how I made my keyboard into a detachable keyboard. So yeah, thanks for watching. Goshio arigatou gozaimashita.